In a speech yesterday, Ambrose did share some specific ideas about where the party should be heading. She called for her fellow Conservatives to expand the party's reach and embrace diversity to attract more young people, women and minorities. And we're joined now by the current leader of the Conservative Party, Rana Ambrose, at the convention in Vancouver. Uh, Ms. Ambrose, thank you for taking the time. I know you've said it uh, several... Hi, Andrew. Hi. I know you've said it several times that you don't want to run, and I know this motion uh, uh, failed, you know, to try and to change the rules so that you could run. But, you know, we heard... I was listening to Stephen Harper the other night. He called you one of the most effective opposition leaders the country has ever seen. Why not run? <laughs> Well, I made a decision a long time ago to be the interim leader. I've said it repeatedly, repeatedly that it's not in my plans to run for permanent leader. So, listen, uh, my spouse actually had a T-shirt made and it says on it, no, she's not running, and he's wearing it at the convention. So it is so flattering, don't get me wrong, but I feel like I'm the right place. I'm in the right person in the right time for this position, and I'm working hard to reach a couple of goals, and we've already uh, done really well. I wanted to change the tone of the party. We've done that. I wanted to make sure that we had a solid financial foundation. We've done that. We've had, you know, surpassed the Liberals in fundraising and had our best fundraising quarter in the history of our party. I wanted to have a great convention that was open to media in every corner, and we did that. Uh, you know what? We, I wanted to have a great opposition. We've got a great opposition. We've got a united team. I'm reaching the goals that I set out as interim leader, and it's a reflection on our fantastic team. I'm really proud of that. Is it because you're an Albertan in the sense that, in the sense that, do you think that the next leader of the party should not be from Alberta? No, not at all. A rule is a rule, and I made it very, very clear that I was not interested in running for the permanent leadership. It would have been extremely disruptive to the leadership race if that would have passed. And so my view all along was that this should not go forward. I had no interest in running, and it, all it would have done is disrupted the leadership race. The other goal that I have is to run a fair, good, competitive leadership race. We've already got three fantastic candidates declared, and we're going to have many more come forward. And in the next year, my goal is to make sure that we pick the right person and that I leave the party in great shape for that person. And that's uh, what I'm going to continue to do. Okay. Now I know that uh, Conservative delegates, they're voting to address the party's definition of marriage. Yesterday, the party's definition of marriage currently defined as the union of one man and one, one woman. I, I don't know whether you had a chance to see it, so I'm going to play a little clip of what um, the Prime Minister uh, had to say referring to the vote from the Liberal Convention just a short while ago. Let's have a listen. Our Conservative friends are also meeting this weekend. They're in Vancouver, where, among other things, they're debating the merits of marriage equality. In 2016, more than a decade after we made same-sex marriage legal in Canada. Okay, so uh, you heard from him there, and he said, oh, maybe in 10 years the Conservatives will recognize that climate change is real, or maybe uh, they won't be trying to legislate what women wear on their heads. What, what's your reaction to what was obviously some digs from uh, well, Justin Trudeau? Well, my reaction is those are really cheap shots, and it's really below the Prime Minister of Canada to take them. Listen, you have to respect debate, and the motion passed... I've been publicly supportive. I have friends that are gay, that are married. And listen, yes, this was law 11 years ago, but is there a couple of dissenting voices that want to speak uh, their view? Debate is healthy. And unlike the, the Liberal Convention, we actually opened up every single corner of our workshops, our convention, our debates to the media, unlike them who actually stifled that uh, debate. So I think debate is healthy. I'm very uh, positive that the motion will pass. And I think that's important. Uh, and listen, I'm really proud of our party. And I made the point yesterday that, in fact, the first Muslim member of parliament was a conservative. And when we, we talk about diversity, we've had so many firsts in the conservative party. We have a lot of diverse senators. We've had diversity throughout our party. And I welcome that. Listen, conservative values resonate with everyone, whether they've been here for generations or they arrived days ago. And that's really a lot to do with people who believe in family and community and small business and entrepreneurship and, 
and personal responsibility and all of those things are conservative values and uh, that's important to men, women, people who are of different cultural backgrounds. Um, I think the, the difference here is that the Liberals are always categorizing people and, and here in, uh, at our convention I've tried to make the point that we believe that every man and woman has inherent value and equality and that's to me the most important message that we can uh, share with Canadians about conservative values and I hope that that is reflected in the vote today. And yet, and yet uh, we heard from a uh, conservative yesterday, right, a, a Muslim woman who said that she felt really hurt by uh, the, the election campaign, the debate over the niqab, the cultural barbaric uh, practices, tip line, all of that. So what, what do you say to people that are still feeling wounded and still feeling as though your party is not as open and diverse as maybe you would like it to be? Well, it's pretty open and diverse if she feels comfortable being a part of our party. She's a Muslim woman. She was able to get up to the mic and say how she felt, and that was really important. I welcomed her comments, and I say to her and every Muslim woman out there, we believe in equality between men and women, and this is a party that welcomes people that have that viewpoint. And so she is obviously feels very welcome in our party. And listen, we open the doors to everyone to come in and see what we were debating. Uh, because we want to have complete transparency. And listen, the diversity is important. There's no doubt about it. But we have an incredible track record that I'm very proud of. And at the end of the day, those values of community and family and hard work and entrepreneurship that are very much the foundation of our party are reflected in Canadians from all walks of life. And we welcome them. Ms. Ambrose, appreciate you taking the time today. Thank you very much. No problem. Rana Ambrose is the leader of the Conservative Party of Canada. We reached her at the convention in Vancouver.